Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Some of you might know for the last several years I've reviewed dozens of pairs of pants and I kind of coined a term, the quest for the perfect tactical pants continues. And for me, that quest kind of culminated in the Vertex Delta Stretch. Uh, a lot of you guys like those pants. I've turned a lot of people onto those pants, I think. And I like pants for reasons that maybe differ from why you might like a pair of pants. In any case, it's led me to the Vertex Delta Stretch. Now they released a new model, the Vertex Delta Stretch 2.0. And since then, because I, I've reviewed the Delta Stretch 1.0, since the 2.0 came out, I've been asked dozens and dozens of questions. How's it compared to the 1.0? Would you recommend it? Do you still wear them? Is this your new favorite pants? Yada, yada, yada. I just put out an EDC video. I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it yet, where I briefly talk about the pants and ask if you guys wanna see a review of those pants, and you said yes. So that is this. I'm gonna be talking about the 2.0, what's different between the 2.0 and the 1.0, and there's another pair of pants that's a little more lightweight, but has a lot of the characteristics of the Vertex Delta Stretch that I really like. So, let's just get into why I like the Delta Stretch 2.0s. Okay, so here we go, legendary crotch shot. I apologize if anybody walks by while you're watching this and then you got to explain to them. But I've been told this view, this style, really gives the best feel for how the pants look and function and are laid out. I wear a 32 by 32. I'm 5'10", 180 roughly, uh, relatively fit. Just to give you some perspective. So for me, comfort is a big deal. I wear pants all day, every day, pretty much. Uh, and then pocket layout is important for me. Do they have the right amount of pockets? Are they in the places that I like them? How easy it is to get in and out of the pockets uh, and how they fit, how they look, I guess. And I think these pants look great. They're casual enough to where I wear them every day and kind of dressy enough to where you could wear them in most office settings without anyone caring or noticing. The 2.0s did lose the little leather on the pocket here that the 1.0s had. I did like how those looked, but not necessarily how they functioned. It did make this part a little thicker. So on some of your thinner belt clips or pocket clips, it had a little bit of trouble getting over. It didn't affect any of the stuff that I carry regularly, but once in a while I'd bring something into ro the rotation and it would kind of get caught up on that leather obviously a little more durable. Vertex tells me they're gonna cycle that in every year, so the next year's Deltas, they're bringing the leather back. This year, doesn't have it. So let's start right off. I can still carry appendix up top here. I got a Glock 43 in one of my LLOD holsters. So, well, it's a 43X really. So that's going on up there. For me, in my holsters anyways, I find that I don't need to go up or down a pant size. The same size pants that I would wear if I wasn't carrying a gun is the same size I wear with a gun. Then we have the blue alpha gear belt up here, which I sell again on my website, llod.us. I find that the belt loop spacing is good, adequate. I don't like when these are too close together, uh, especially for concealed carry. It kind of makes your belt buckle have to go up. So I find that I can put my belt buckle over here my clip works great. The belt loops are oriented like this. So we got the double in the rear and they're of adequate size, can fit this hybrid buckle through, obviously no problem. The pants overall are very comfortable. One of the most comfortable pair of pants that I'm sure you'll ever try. They're to me, almost as comfortable as, as like sweatpants, and I never wear sweatpants, so <laughs> these are as close as I get. They are stretchy material all the way around, so that does equate to a little bit of stretchiness in the waist, though there are no dedicated stretch points. There is a hidden pocket in the back inside here for a handcuff key or whatnot. Then we have pockets that are shaped like this as the main pockets. I love this shape just because it's easy to get your hand in and out. Uh, my hands aren't especially fat or anything. I just have, you know, pretty average size, mechanics size, large hands. And these pockets just easy in and out. 
no problem. When you kind of have the top sla slant pockets like this, not slant, but you have these type of pockets that are this way, it's so hard to get my hands in and out of those. I just don't really like, you know, reaching in those pockets, but these are perfect. They're also kind of angled here, which makes it a great spot for if you want to carry a knife or a flashlight or whatever in your pocket. But as I'm showing, I carry them in other pockets. Pockets are adequately deep. Here is my phone. I keep that in the left pocket. So I'll take that out. And then the other change for the 2.0s are the pockets went to a mesh material. So helps keeps the, pant the pants overall a little more breathable. This material is relatively thick. Ooh, looks like I got a stain there. Sorry about that. This material is relatively thick, so they're not, uh, probably not the best pants for really, really hot weather, but the cutbacks, which I'll get to in a second, are a pretty good option for hot weather. So we have these two pockets. Uh, these pants are totally symmetrical as far as pocket layout is concerned. So the front pockets are really great. Spacious, easy to access, comfortable to get your hands in and out, easy to still get stuff out of your pockets when you're driving. So front pockets are a huge win for me. This other pocket, if you're wondering, I do keep my wallet and chapstick, which is a Trayvax. And then the other new thing of the Delta 2.0s are, you've seen it already in this video, but the mag pockets up here. So we do have our regular back pockets, which I don't really use for much on a regular basis, but sometimes I'll stick a check or some cash or a folded document or whatever I need to just in the back. But these two pockets here, these mag pockets, these mag, I don't know what they're called, mag yoke pockets maybe, up high, more center line. And you have stuff in the front of these pockets, it's almost right on the center, which I really like because when you sit down, you're not sitting on any of your tools. So when pants don't have mag pockets up high, or if they don't have these pockets like the Delta 1s have and the Delta 2s have, then I'll usually end up putting stuff in my back pocket, like on the side. And depending on the orientation of that back pocket, I'm usually like sitting on my tools or something, not very comfortable, obviously. So separation of gear in my pockets is huge for me. I don't like putting my flashlight in the same pocket as my phone. That way I'm pulling my phone out and scratching it up. I don't like putting my multi-tool in the same pocket as my wallet. That way I'm having to reach down against my multi-tool all day. And uh, that's, just, that's just not fun. Why do that when you don't have to? So just like the Delta 1.0s had this lower pocket, which is nicer than a lot of pants because it's up high. My problem with these pockets on a lot of pants is they're too low. So when I'm sitting down, stuff's falling out of the pockets. This pocket is nice and high still. So my multi-tool is coming to about here, and then that's the top of this pocket, if you're wondering. So if you're the kind of guy that carries two knives, I don't regularly, but these pants are perfect because I can keep my multi-tool up here, and then I can fit something as large as like a Spyderco PM2 in that pocket, still no issues. So if you carry a lot of gear, the 2.0s are even better than the 1.0s. However, the difference is in the 1.0s, I always had my knife and flashlight in these pockets. And now I just like keeping up a little higher in the mag pockets. And the 2.0s do still retain this little zipper pocket, which I honestly forget is even there. I don't use it for anything. But if you really need to secure something, you can put it in this little zipper pocket that's right kind of behind the main front pocket. So if you have something you wanna keep secret or just keep super secure, you do have this extra pocket. I misspoke earlier because I forgot about this pocket. This is only on this side, so that is not a symmetrical pocket, only on that side. Other than that, for me, fit is great. If you have massive, massive, massive thighs, they might be a little tight on you, but these are not really skinny pants or skinny jeans by any means, but they're not overly baggy, bulky like tactical pants of old. The only thing the 2.0s did not fix, in my humble opinion, is I do wish the fly length was just a half inch longer. Just, I like a little more room in my fly, so you don't get that in the deltas. Though they are completely adequate, I would say they're an average size fly. It's not, some pants have a really small fly that is pretty much worthless. These ones still get the job done. So again, the Delta 1.0s are great. I'm not saying you need to upgrade to the 2.0s if you have the 1.0s, but if A, you didn't really like this leather strap, or B, you wanted another pocket up here, the Delta 2.0s 
do solve both of those issues. Uh, Vertex, I forgot if I mentioned already, they gave me a coupon code as well, I've had it forever, LLOD, saves 25% off on everything on their site. So if you go and look at these pants and you're like, oh, those are pretty expensive pants, do remember that you can save 25% off. Another pair of pants that I really like are the Vertex Cutbacks. So these, similarly, have a nice, really nice high mag pocket. The pockets are this type of kind of more traditional jean pocket that I don't like as much, but these aren't especially tight, so you can get your hand in and out of them pretty easily. They do have mesh pockets as well, and they do have this little kind of coin pocket watch pocket right there. And then this is the pocket, kind of the hidden inside pocket that you can stash your handcuff key or whatever you want in there. This in the fly is also a pocket, so you can put another handcuff key down in there or something if you'd like. So one other thing I forgot to mention, it is a button closure, easy to use and manipulate. There is, as you'd expect, gusseted crotch, articulated knee, everything that you've come to love in tactical pants and most kind of modern athletic type pants these days. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed staring at my crotch for 10 minutes. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Again, hope you liked it. I do have links down in the video description below. I have a coupon code with Vertex uh, that they've given me for a long time and it's still active. 25% off, L-L-O-D is the code. And, and yeah, if you have any other questions, if you have pants you really want me to check out, leave them down below. And I get a lot of pants recommendations and they're probably great pants, but most of them just don't have a pocket orientation layout that I like. But I will be reviewing other pants on the channel just because I like these ones the best doesn't mean they're the best for everyone. So I haven't reviewed pants in a while because I found the pants that I've been looking for, but it's not fair to you guys to not review other pants. And I have dozens of other pants. All, all the companies send me pants. I've tried most of them out there. So I'm gonna continue to do more, but again, if you have recommendations or some that you have questions about, leave them down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Comment down below if you're a fan of the Delta stretches as well. Get subscribed to the channel. Yeah, until next time guys, take care.